Dos. Welcome back to the channel and this is going to be a fun one. I'm really excited about this one. As you can see, we've got the Ford, but that's not the focus. That's not the fun one. The fun part is we bought a boat and we hooked it to the Ford because why else would you have a pickup truck if you can't tow a trailer with it? So I got a hitch and everything on the Ford so we can tow the boat because that's really my plan. I want to be able to tow a boat with this thing. So we went and bought this boat. So this thing, it's a 1986 Ski Supreme. So it's like a 19 foot long little ski boat. So it's really, really cool. So I'll give you guys a little bit of rundown about the boat and then we got some little stuff we need to do to it. So like I said, it's a 1986 Ski Supreme. It's pretty cool. It's got this old vintage steering wheel on it, like the old gauges. It's in pretty darn good shape for what it is. It's got some sweet teak trim up there, kind of some teak trim down here. You know, the upholstery needs a little bit of work here and there. It's a little, little dried out, but it's good shape. So we got this thing to enjoy the hot summers we get here in Michigan, because we live pretty close to water. So we're like, screw it, let's get a sweet little ski boat. The problem is, I don't know anything about boats. So what kind of boat do you buy when you don't know anything about boats? I was like, I could get an outboard, but then I'd have to learn about outboards. Nah, I really don't feel like it. So I was like, I want a jet boat, you know, big block, jet boat, big exhaust. Then I priced them and went, oh yeah, we're not doing that. So I ended up looking at ski boats because it's basically, you know, just a small block right here, little trans and then a prop out the back. Pretty simple. It's basically a car. So this thing under here, I mean, it's pretty much a car. What we've got here is a 351 Windsor Ford motor. Has a little velvet drive transmission behind it. I mean, super simple. It's got a little holly on it. You know, it's it's about as simple as you can get for a boat. So this was kind of what I was going for and I thought this would be really good for us. So I'm pretty happy with it, but it's kind of nasty in here. Like if you look at the carpet, it's all dirty. There's some like moss growing on some of the carpet. Like down here, there's some moss and stuff. So it needs a really good cleanup. Needs some wiring work. The radio doesn't work. I don't know if any of the lights work, but I mean, if you go up in here, you can see the wiring is, I guess you could say sketchy. So that's probably the, the best way to describe it. So I gotta go through the wiring and fix it up. Not a big deal. I enjoy wiring. But we're just trying to get a prep before we take it out, make sure everything's good. And the first thing I want to do is just pressure wash this whole thing. Because our plans for now are pressure wash it, rewire it. I gotta take this, this tower off, man. I can't, I don't know, let me get out here and show it to you. I just can't take the tower. It's such a good looking boat. It's so low to the ground and that tower just, it just kills me. I can't, I gotta take it off of there. So that's got to come off and then we're just going to clean this thing up and try to make it look good. It's got this really, really cool trim, which is in pretty good shape. There's a little piece missing there and that's about it. But then, you know, it's got the same trim up on top, down the sides of the boat. And then obviously swim platform out back. So this thing's really cool and the best part about it, all fiberglass. There's no wood. 1986 is the first year of the all fiberglass Ski Supremes, which is what this one is. So I don't have to worry about any kind of rot or anything. So we're going to start out here. Just pressure wash it. Try to get her looking a little bit nicer, but it still it already looks so badass behind the Ford. Like, I'm, kind of, I'm glad this one has red in it because it just matches the truck so well.
right, quick pressure wash, a <clears throat> little bit of scrubbing, and it's still kind of dirty, but I wanted to get the majority of the dirt out. Man, the carpet like really, really came back. Like this was all black, and this is under the seats. You can see it's lighter, but still, that's like, I mean, there's shadows and stuff on it, but man, that looks really good. It doesn't have the black spots anymore. Like, I think it really cleaned up nice. Super, super happy with this. Now I think I just gotta let it dry out for a long time because there's a lot of water in there. We'll let her dry out for a while and then uh, we'll come back to it and start cleaning her up. All right guys, that washing time lapse of the boat was like, I don't know, a month ago or something. Because you know, we had Cletus and cars and a whole bunch of stuff, power and sound festival in between. So I didn't really get a chance to work on the boat. And really I should be working on the 51 because that thing has maybe a blown up motor. I don't know, but the weather's nice. I want to go boating. So the boat is ahead of the 51 right now. So what I did in the meantime that you guys haven't seen is I gutted the entire stereo system out of it. So this thing had like a car radio and a car amp and a bunch of non, uh, non marine speakers and all this crappy wiring. So I gutted everything out. I reused the rear speakers, put new marine speakers up front, and it's kind of hard to see way down in there, but right there, a tiny little Bluetooth amp, which is pretty cool because I have a plate here that doesn't even take a head unit, just uses this little controller here, and this is waterproof and wireless because, I mean, really, we're just going to listen to Bluetooth music. So, and I replaced all the switches, and I got some circuit breakers I need to replace up in here. But, not a big deal. So the big thing when I bought the boat that the guy told me, he's like, hey man, the steering's really stiff. And, I mean, it was like two-hand steering, it was a fight. And I thought, well, it probably needs a cable, because that's how these boats are. And, you know, I learned that from doing a quick Google, because I don't know anything about boats. Next thing I learned was, cables are easy and cheap. And then once I bought the boat and started researching it, they don't make these cables anymore. Like, they're they're obsolete, you can't get them. You have to replace the whole steering system, which turns out to be a good thing. So this here is my steering column. This was the input. And then these are the two housings. And then here is the gear. It was in two pieces when I took it out. And literally when I picked up this side, this little piece here just fell off. So I need a whole new column, I need a whole new steering cable, and what I got was this Rotec Universal kit that comes with everything. So this is what they, they're using now to replace them. Made by a company called Uflex. I got this from Ski Discount Inboard Marine. No idea how this thing works, but I'm going to put it in and hopefully everything works out well. But I'm going to give it a shot and we'll see how it goes. All right, I got the steering all fixed. It's super easy now. Everything's rewired. I think it's water ready, so I just want to fire it up here in the yard and make sure everything's good. And if it is, we're going to go put this thing on the lake and we're going to have some fun, but let's see if we can get her to fire up here. I've never owned a boat before, so this is all uh, first time here. All right, we'll give her a little fuel. <laughs> give her a little more fuel. So you pump that like you pump a normal throttle? Yeah, you gotta huh. pull the thing out to take it out of gear to do it. I mean, it's been sitting for a while, so. It is a mechanical pump, so it doesn't actually get fuel until Feel in it, I swear. 
There you go. Yeah, I think it just did that fuel up to it. Yep. 50-ish pounds of oil pressure, 14 volts on the charger. Is there uh, water coming out the back? Yeah. It sounds pretty good. It does. That was a lot of fun. This thing rips. Hell yeah, it does. When you put it into the turn and then like hammered on the throttle, like holy crap, this thing just like, it just goes. It's so much fun. I know. Like, I love this boat. I just want to keep cutting donuts. I know. It's more fun <laughs> riding with you, I think, than driving, actually. Really? Yeah, I just like sitting here. It's more fun. <laughs> I got nothing to worry about. I mean, I guess I got to try to swim if you say it, but. This thing we'll turns on a dime and throttles up. This 351 makes so much torque. Like, it sounds so good. It sounds good. It runs good. I love this boat. This thing is awesome. Oh, yeah, I do too. Like, this was a great purchase. I know. I don't. I don't need to do anything to this boat. I love it. 
I mean, this was a hell of a first test of the boat, right? Absolutely. Like, this thing is so much fun. fun. God, I love this boat. We're going to make this boat cooler at some point, but for right now, we're just going to enjoy this thing. Cause it is yeah, that's perfect for the summer for sure. Hell yeah. Come back next time. We're going to do something. I don't know. 51, the Ford. The boat. The Ford <laughs> and the boat. At least get more down. I don't know. We're just going to have fun. But thanks for watching.